Good morning. God bless you, Tina. Good morning. Pray that you had a wonderful weekend. Blessings to you. As you come on, just tap that screen. We're so grateful to God today. Good morning, Evangelist Ellis. Blessings to you. Tap that screen, everyone. <clears throat> today is the last day of 2018. As you come on, just tap that screen. Today is the last day of 2018. God has brought us through another year. And if you got up this morning, you have something to thank God for. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. And things may not have gone the way you thought, but you made it. God has kept you through another year. Today is the last day of 2018. Today is the last day of December, and we want to thank God for carrying us through another year. We're excited. We have great expectation of what the new year holds for us. Hallelujah. My God, and we're going to decree and declare some things over our lives, over our children, over our families, over our businesses. This is the year where God puts his super on your natural, the year of maximized results. 2019 will be the year of maximized results. You're not just going to get results but your results are going to be incredible. Your results are going to be uh, great, magnificent. Hallelujah. Good morning, Kadia. Blessings to you. Pray that you had a wonderful weekend. Today is the last day of 2018. Do me a favor. Put down there, as we always do, 58 slash Uncommon Seed. 58 slash Uncommon Seed. 58 slash Uncommon Seed. Put that down, please. Every month, we start out with a $58 seed. And we're going to sow. Today is the uh, last day of the year. We're sowing an Uncommon Seed. Uh, we sold ours yesterday. We're going to sow an uncommon seed before the year is out. We've sold five uncommon seeds uh, for this new year. So, please, ma'am, please, sir, those of you who want to stand with us, sow that uncommon seed today. I'm excited about your future. I'm excited about your future. Hallelujah. Do me a favor. Let's do something a little different today. Uh, as you come on, put down one word. If you could describe 2018 in one word, put down one word. One word that would describe 2018 for you. One word that would describe 2018 for you. Okay. Just put down one word that would describe 2018 for you. Change. Okay, good. 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 I see that change. Okay. Good morning, Kiana. Blessings to you. As you come on, put the number 58 slash uncommon seed. 58 slash uncommon seed. As you come on, I want you to put down one word to describe 2018. One word that would describe 2018 for you. One word. Very challenging. Okay. We have change. We have very challenging. Okay. One word that would describe your 2018. One word that would describe your 2018. Hallelujah. 
My word would be transition. My word would be transition. So we heard change. We've heard very challenging. Good morning, Roberta. Blessings to you. Blessings to you. Pray that you had a wonderful weekend. Pray that you had a wonderful weekend. As you come on, I want you to put down one word, one word to describe 2018. I want you to put down one word that would describe 2018 for you. My word would be transition. Tina said change. Kadia said very challenging. Okay. Good morning, Valerie. Blessings to you. Good morning, Willie. Good morning, Tempest. My word is chaotic. Okay. Okay. As you come on, put down the number 58 slash uncommon seed. The number 58 slash uncommon seed. Want you to describe describe 2018 with one word one word for you and 2018 describe 2018 in one word for you we had the word change we've had the word very challenging we had the word chaotic and we had the word transition. If you had to describe 2018 in one word, what would it be? What would it be? What would it be? 2018, one word, one word. If you had to describe 2018 in one word, what would it be? Twenty-eighteen in one word. Today is the last day of the year. We've made it through another year. No matter how many challenges you had, no matter how chaotic it's been, no matter how much change has taken place, revealing, good, I like that. Roberta says revealing, good. Okay, excellent. Those of you just coming on, describe 2018 in one word. One word that would describe your 2018. We've had the word revealing. We've had the word chaotic. We've had the word change. We've had the word transition. And we've had very challenging. Okay. But through all of those things, you made it. Through all of those things, God has been faithful to us. Through all of those things, God has loved us through it. Through all of those things, God has taught us. Through all of those things, God has developed us. Through all of those things, God has molded us. Through all of those things, we are grateful. We are grateful. All right, as you come on, uh, put down 58 slash uncommon seed. As you know, we're about to enter into a new month, a new year, a new year. Those of you, we thank you for all that you have done to support, to, to pray for us in 2018. We've had our last uh, prison ministry for the year. Uh, we had one on Saturday and on Sunday. Moving. Okay, that's another word. Moving. Okay, good, good, good. So we are grateful. We had an excellent time on Saturday. And I haven't got the report yet on Sunday, but I'm pretty sure they had a wonderful time also. We had great deliverance on Saturday at the crusade at the prison. So we thank God for an awesome year of ministry. We thank God for that. Okay. All right. Let me talk to you real quick. Uh, good morning, D. Arthur. Blessings to you, man of God.
Blessings to you and your family. Pray that you had a wonderful weekend. If you had to describe 2018 in one word, what would that be? If you had to describe 2018 in one word, what would that be? Those of you just coming on, if you had to describe 2018 in one word, what would that be? What would that be? We've had uh, revealing. We've had moving. We've had very challenging. We've had chaotic. We've had uh, change. We've had transition. We've had revealing. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. If you had one word to describe testing. Okay, good. Thank you. Testing. Good. 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 Excellent. Through it all, you made it. Through it all, I've made it. Today is the last day of 2018. Okay? I decree and declare that you will have a very productive 2019. I decree and declare that you will be sensitive to the voice of God like never before in 2019. I decree and declare that you will be consistent in your walk with the Lord. You will be consistent in everything that concerns you. I decree and declare that you will honor God in all that you do. I decree and declare that you will acknowledge God in all that you do. I decree and declare that you will know what it is to live in the overflow. I decree and declare that you are healed, whole, and healthy. I decree and declare that you have a sound mind. I decree and declare that you shall walk into your wealthy place. In Jesus' name, it is so. Amen. We were able to minister out of town uh, yesterday morning. And the Lord began to do some miraculous things. A spirit of giving took over in the place. And the Lord said, tell the people. He said, put uh, a basket out and tell the people to sow a seed for their financial freedom. Sow a seed for their financial freedom. 2019 will be a year of God positioning you supernaturally and suddenly. Write that down. 2019 will be a year, Tina, that God will position you supernaturally and suddenly. Roberta, 2019 will be a year that God will position you supernaturally and suddenly. Good morning, Sonia. Blessings to you and your family. If you could describe 2018 in one word, Sonia, what would that be? If you had to describe 2018 in one word, what would that be, Sonia? What would that be? I've asked everyone as they come on. If you had to describe it in one word, what would that be? Yes. 2019 shall be a year in which God positions us supernaturally and suddenly. Supernaturally and suddenly. Hallelujah. Make this declaration unfocused. Okay. Okay. Make this declaration with me. I will be consistent in all things. Come on, write that down. Make that declaration with me this morning. I will be consistent in all things. In 2019, I will be consistent in all things. Good, Roberta. God shall position you supernaturally and suddenly. God shall position you, D. Arthur, supernaturally and suddenly. God shall position you, Kiana, Kadia, Val. Tina, Evangelist Bryant, Evangelist Ellis, Sonia, Sue, Lois, Lisa, 
Jennifer, James, Wendy, Danielle, Alexis. God shall position you, Timber, Tempest, Willie. God shall position us supernaturally and suddenly. Good. I will be consistent, yes, in all things. Yeah, for 2019. Good, good, good. Start out the year. God has given you a clean slate. God has given you a clean slate. Okay? Problematic. Okay? God has given you a clean slate. God has given you a clean slate. God has given you a clean slate. Okay? And now start off the new year. Start it off by being consistent. Okay? Good morning, Lois. Blessings to you. Pray that you had a wonderful weekend. If you had to describe 2018 in one word, what would it be, Lois? Somebody said moving. Somebody said challenging, very challenging. Somebody said revealing. Somebody said testing. Somebody said unfocus. Somebody said transition. Somebody said uh, moving. Okay. Somebody also said problematic. One word to describe your 2018, what would it be? If you had one word to describe your 2018, what would it be? Okay. All right. Hallelujah. I'm so excited because not only will I be consistent in 2019, I will be obedient. Okay. Well, I will be obedient. Okay. In spite of the consequence. Write that down. Not only, Roberta, will I be consistent in 2019, but I'm going to be obedient in spite of the consequence. Write that down. My God, I know you can believe in spite of what you see, but can you obey God in spite of the consequence? Can you obey God, Sonia? Can you obey God, Kadia? Can you obey God, Kiana? Can you obey God, Lois, in spite of the consequence? No matter what it will cost me, I'm going to obey God. No matter what I have to let go of, I'm going to obey God. No matter what I got to walk away from, I'm going to obey God. Hallelujah. Somebody make that declaration. 2019, I will be obedient. Okay. Good. I will be obedient. Good. In spite of the consequence. Whatever it's going to cost me, I'm going to be obedient to God. I'm not going to spend another year in disobedience. I'm not going to spend another hour, another second in disobedience. I'm going to obey God. The Bible said, let God be the truth and every man a liar. I'm not going to, oh my God, let God be the truth and every man a liar. Okay. Here's another declaration. I'm going to esteem God's word higher than anybody else's word. Okay. I'm going to esteem God's word higher than anybody else's word. Because in 2019 or uh, 2018, we were taking the advice of other people instead of taking God's word. So we need to esteem God's word above other people's advice. And then you want to blame them for what you're in instead of hearing God. Revealing, which encompasses many acts of deliverance for me. Okay, awesome. 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 
Awesome. Good. I'm going to esteem God's word higher than people's advice. Good, Roberta. Good. Good, Val. Good. Good. And if you be honest, many times, instead of going to God, we're asking people, what do you think about that? What do you think I should do? It's not what people think you should do. It's not how people see it. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding in all your ways. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Hallelujah. 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 Write this down. I will honor God with my finances. Write this down. I will honor God with my finances. 2019, I will honor God with my finances. Hallelujah. I'm not going to put everything else as a priority when it comes to my finances. I'm going to honor God with my finances. I'm going to honor God with my finances. When I look back over my checkbook, it's going to show that I've been given to the kingdom of God. It's not going to show that I've been spending or at the department stores more than I've been honoring God. I'm going to honor God with my finances. Hallelujah. I'm going to honor God with my finances. Nobody's going to have to try to convince me to give. I know it's right to give. I know that's the way of the kingdom. I know the Bible says, if I, hallelujah, sow bountifully, I shall reap bountifully. That's the Bible. So I don't need no one to tell me no story. I'm going to do what the Bible says. Let me give you a scripture and then I'm going to talk to you about the consecration. Third John, write that down. Third John 1. Third John, it only has one chapter. Third John 1, it only has one chapter. Third John and 1. I want to talk to you about that this morning, and then we're going to talk about the consecration. Third John 1 and verse number 2. Third John 1 and verse number 2. Third John chapter 1, verse number 2. Third John chapter 1, verse number 2. I want you to take this scripture and hold it close to you, Tina. I want you to take this scripture and hold it close to you, Lois. I want you to take this scripture and hold it close to you, Kadia. People of God, remember this scripture. 3 John 1 and 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. Write this down. My God. I will prosper in every area of my life. Come on. 2019, you will prosper in every area of your life. I decree and declare over each one of you those of you who will watch this periscope, I decree and declare that you will prosper in every area of your life. Not just in one area, but you will prosper in every area. When it comes to making better choices, you will prosper. When it comes to your thinking, you will prosper. When it comes to your finances, you will prosper. When it comes to your health, you will prosper in your relationships. You will prosper in every area of your life. A lot of times when we think prosperity, we think one area, but I'm t decreeing and declaring, good Roberta, that you will prosper in every area of your life. Not just in one area, but in every area 
of your life. Now watch what the scripture says. The writer says, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, my God. Write this down. Your true wealth is your health. Write that down. Your true wealth is your health. And in 2019, we are going to be sensitive to our health. Okay? True wealth is your health. Because you could have all the money in the world, but if you don't have good health, you're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. True wealth is your health. Yeah. I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health. See? I want you to be in health. My God. My God. Make that declaration. I am healthy. I am healed. I am whole. Every day I say that. I am healed. I am whole. I am healthy. Every day I say that. I am healed. I am whole. I am healthy. Every day I say that. I am healed. I am whole. I am healthy. Good morning, Felicia. Blessings to you and your husband. We have made it another year. God has kept us. If you had one word, Felicia, one word to describe 2018 for you, what would it be? One word to describe 2018 for you, what would you say that word was? Somebody said revealing, somebody said problematic, somebody said chaotic, somebody said revealing, a couple of people said revealing, somebody else said change, somebody else said transition, okay? Many Words, if you had one word to describe your 2018, what would it be? Good, good, Roberta, good, Val. I'm healed, I'm whole, and I am healthy. Transformation, awesome. Transformation, awesome, good. I like that word, good, good. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow is our anniversary. Thank you so much. Yes, we got married the year 2000 at midnight. We got married the year 2000 at midnight, at midnight. So tonight is our anniversary. Yeah, tonight is our anniversary. Thank you so much. All right, so 1 John 3, 1 and 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health. Write that down. My God, I am... Healed, whole, and healthy. Okay? Okay? There's nothing like being healthy. There's nothing like being healthy. My God. And I think we miss that sometimes. Because we're always praying for this and that. But your true wealth is your health. True wealth is your health. True wealth is having a sound mind. What good is it to live a long life and not have a sound mind? What good is it to have life and not even know that you're existing? Not being aware that you are even alive. Good. Yeah. You know what's greater than divine healing? Divine health. You know what's greater than getting healed? Never being sick. Do you believe that's possible? Do you believe it's possible never to be sick? I know you believe it's possible to get healed, but do you believe it's possible never to be sick? Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. There is something greater than divine healing, divine health. My God, I dare you to decree and declare divine health over your life. I dare you to decree and declare divine health 
over your life. Hallelujah. I decree and declare divine health over me, over my family, over my wife, over my children, over my grandchildren. Hallelujah. It is possible to never be sick. All things are possible unto me because I believe. I don't read nowhere in the Bible where Jesus was ever sick. It is possible for you and I to walk in divine health. Hallelujah. Good. There you go. Good. Good. Excellent. So the, the writer, the writer of, yes, Lord. If you ever been sick and ever got well, well is better. If you ever been broke and you got increase, increase is better. If you ever been depressed and having a right mind, having a right mind is better. My God. Because when you're sick, it'll take your money. The woman who had the issue of blood, not only was she sick, but she had lost all her money. My God. I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health. Notice he uses health first. But even as thy soul prospers. Write this down. My life will prosper as my soul prospers. Write that down. My life will prosper as my soul prospers. My life will prosper as my soul prospers. My life will prosper as my soul prospers. If your soul does not prosper, your life will not prosper. If your soul does not prosper, then your health will not prosper. If your soul does not prosper, then your finances, then your thinking will not prosper. Your soul prospers, you will prosper, or your life will prosper as your soul prospers. My God, what is your soul? Your mind, your will, your intellect. Write that down. Write down the word soul in capital letters, S-O-U-L. Write that down in capital letters, S-O-U-L. Soul, your mind, your will, your emotions, your intellect, and your imagination. Five components of your soul. Mind, will, emotions, intellect, imagination. Your soul has five components. My God, your mind, your will, your emotions, your intellect, and your imagination. That what makes up your soul. So when the Bible says, I wish above all things that you be in health and prosper even as your soul prospers, then that means your mind has to prosper. Your will has to prosper. Your emotions has to prosper. Your intellect and your imagination. What are you saying? What is your mind? How you think? What is your will? What you do? What is your emotions? How you feel? And if you're ever going to have whole life prosperity, then you've got to prosper in your thinking. You've got to make better decisions in what you do. And you've got to bring your emotions under subjection. That's your mind. That's your soul. Your mind, how you think. Your will, what you do. Your emotions, how you feel. You've got to get from under your circumstances. 
How are you feeling? Well, under the cir- get from under your circumstances. 2019, you're not going to live under your circumstances. 2019, you're not going to be a victim. 2019, you're going to begin to live above your circumstances. Can you declare that? In 2019, I will live above my circumstances. Come on. 2019, I will live above my circumstances. No matter what they are, I will live above my circumstances. I will not complain over what I'm going through. I will not complain over what I don't have. Hallelujah, my God. All right, let me digress a little because I feel the power of God. Yes, good. I will live above my circumstances in 2019. Hallelujah. Come on. I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. So there's no prosperity without soul prosperity. Did you get that? There's no life prosperity unless your soul prospers. You've got to learn how to use your imagination. My God. King, my God. Write this down. The greatest nation is imagination. Write that down. The greatest nation is imagination. I decree and declare that in 2019, you will tap into the power of imagination. In 2019, I decree and declare, Kadia, that you will learn how to tap into the power of imagination. I decree and declare, Roberta, that in 2019, you will learn how to tap into the power of imagination. Lois, you've got to learn how to tap into the power of imagination. I decree and declare, Kiana, 2019, you will tap into the power of imagination. The author, I pray that you would tap into the power of imagination. Tina, the power of imagination. Thou, the power of imagination. Evangelist Ellis, Evangelist Bryant, that you would be able to tap into the power of imagination. My God, you don't even realize, you, don't, you haven't even used that power. My God, the power to be in one state and imagine yourself in another state, the power to have health challenges, but to see yourself healed. My God, the by my the power to be struggling financially, but see yourself prosperous, see yourself debt free. That is imagination. You can imagine my God. How do you see yourself? Good morning, Dina. Blessings to you. If you had to describe 2018 in one word, what would it be, Dina? If you had to describe 2018 in one word, what would it be, Dina? If you had to describe 2018 in one word, what would it be? Hallelujah. Write that down in capital letters, please. The power of imagination. The power of imagination. Good morning, Lisa. Blessings to you. Good morning, blessings to you. If you had to describe 2018, Lisa, in one word, what would it be? If you had to describe 2018 in one word, what would it be? Somebody said challenging. Somebody said testing. Somebody said transformation. Somebody said transition. Somebody said very challenging. Somebody said revealing. A couple of people said revealing. Okay. Somebody said moving. Okay. If you had to describe 2018 in one word, what would it be? Change. Okay, good. Change. Okay, good. Excellent. 
Excellent. All right, 1 John 3, 1 and 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. You will not have life prosperity until you have prosperity in your soul, your mind, how you think, your will, what you do, your emotions, how you feel, your intellect, and your imagination. I decree and declare this will be the year. This will be the year that you will walk in the power of imagination. The greatest nation in the world is imagination. God has given you imagination, my God, to walk you out of what's trying to hold you. Hear me. God has given you the ability to imagine that will walk you out of what you're in. Abraham had no son. God told him, go outside, look at the stars. Imagine the stars as your seed. Look on the ground, count the sand. Can you see your seed? He was getting him to imagine my God. And when he began to meditate on the stars, meditate on the sand, guess what? He was able to bring forth a child because it was with the power of imagination. My God, if you only understood the power of imagination, it can take you from where you are to what God has promised you. My God, write this down, Genesis 11. Genesis chapter 11. And I'll end with that, and then I'll tell you about the consecration. Genesis 11. Genesis chapter 11. We're still talking about the power of imagination. Genesis 11, verse number 6. Genesis 11, verse number 6. Genesis chapter 11, verse number 6. Tap that screen this morning if you are receiving the word this morning. Tap that screen. Tap that screen. If you're glad you made it to the end of another year, tap that screen. If you're grateful, hallelujah, it might have been challenging, but God brought you through. You might have been struggling, but God brought you through. You might have been sick, but you made it by the grace of God. Hallelujah. They were singing that song, you want to know how I made it? I made it by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. Genesis 11 and 6. Genesis 11 and 6. And the Lord said, Behold, the people are one, and they have one language. And this they began to do. Watch this. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. The Bible teaches us if you can imagine it, you can do it. The Bible teaches you if you can imagine it, you can have it. My God, don't you know your mind does not know the difference between what is real and what is not real? Did you hear me? Your mind does not know between what is real because that's why God has given you the power of imagination. You can keep imagining that you are rich. You can keep imagining that you are healed. And even though you are sick, your body will begin to line up with what you are imagining. The Bible said that whatever they imagine to do, they'll be able to do it. It was so powerful that God had to come down and confound their language. He said, if I don't mess up their language, whatever they imagine to do, they'll be able to do it. 
And if that could be the case with people who did not know God, what happens to the people who know God? The Bible says the people that know their God, they shall be mighty. They shall do great exploits. My God. The power of imagination. The power of imagination. Write this down, please. Uncommon seed. We're here at the last day of the year. Those of you who will stand with us, the last day of the year, uncommon seed. Write that down. Uncommon seed. We've been talking about this for a while now. And we're going to close out the year with an uncommon seed. Whatever that uncommon seed is for you, whatever God put on your heart, we're going to close out this year with an uncommon seed. Uncommon seed. Today is the last day. We have sold five already. We have sold five uncommon seeds. And tonight, at the service, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely sow another one because we always sow and I'll always challenge. I have to do watch night service. Tina's phone went out. She's on with me. Okay, good. Okay. I want to challenge you all to close out this year with an uncommon seed. Yesterday, the Lord said, tell the people, Michael, to sow this seed for their financial freedom. I don't know about you. Hallelujah. But I want you to decree and declare that 2019, that will be the year that you will break free financially. You will break free financially. The Lord told them this enemy you will see no more forever. I'm not going to keep struggling every year financially. I'm not going to keep doing that. I'm going to finally get my finances in order. I'm going to finally get out of debt. Okay. And I'm going to teach my children and my grandchildren not to go that way. Okay. Not to have to struggle all your life. It is possible not to struggle, okay, in finances. There are people who don't even think about finances. There are people who don't even think about their bills. There are people who don't even know anything about their bills because the money's already there to take care of everything. It is possible for you to walk on that level where you are not concerned about your finances, okay? And that you can get concerned about your destiny, get concerned about your purpose in life, and that you're not always worried about how you're going to pay the rent, how you're going to pay the car payment, how you're going to pay the light bill, how you're going to do this, how you're going to get groceries. That is not how you're supposed to be living, And whether you know it or not, that is not a good place to be. That's actually torment. That's actually torment when you have to live like that. You always got to worry about this and worry about that. And every month you, you get nervous. I don't know. I don't, no, no. God don't want you living like that. All of your needs are met according to his riches and glory. And I come against that spirit of anxiety. Mm -hmm. I come against that spirit of anxiety. And today we uproot it in the name of Jesus. And I come against that spirit that would have you to be afraid that you're going to go back to a place of lack, go back to a place of struggle. You're not going back. You're going forward because you're going to begin to honor God in your area of finances. Okay. All right. Those of you, those of you, let me see by saying me or raising your hand. Those of you who will be sowing that uncommon seed today, 
Okay, those of you who will be sowing that uncommon seed, let me see you this morning. Those of you sowing that uncommon seed, let me see you put your hand up. Yes, it's me. Those of you who will be sowing as we close out this year, those of you who will be sowing, let me see you on here this morning. Hallelujah. Those of you, I know some of you uh, will do it and you may not put your hand up, but please, ma'am, please, sir. Those of you, um, okay. Okay, good, 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 excellent. I see you, good, 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 good. I see you, good, good. I see you, good, 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 excellent. I see you, I see each one of you, good, good, good. Father, right now, those who will be sowing, I thank you, I thank you that that uncommon seed will produce an uncommon harvest. And I thank you, thank you, Felicia, I see that. Okay. Always remember, a seed is no good until you get it in the ground. That is why me and my wife put five seeds in there. And tonight we'll do another one. Why? Because a seed is no good until you get it in the ground. I don't know about you, but there were times in my life when I was talking about doing something and I kept talking about it. And the more I talked about it, I didn't do it because other things came up. Other things came up and I had to use it over here and use it over there. But no, because guess what? The one area everybody on here, the one area everybody on here could use increase is in your finances. I don't care how much you got, but you could use more. I want you all to be in a place that you're not struggling. What what would happen? Watch this. What would happen if you went to work? Watch this. If you went to work, not because you had to, because you just wanted to. What what? What would be your thinking? How would your life change if you went to work because you wanted to, not because you had to? You ever thought about that? You ever thought about that? You ever thought about that? That you went to work not because you had to, because you wanted to. That would change your whole life. All right, we give you an opportunity to sow your uncommon seed. Good. There you go, right. That, that, I see you, Roberta. Good, thank you. All right, watch this. This is, write this down, for the first 21 days of the year. The first 21 days of the year, we will be doing a Daniel fast. A Daniel fast, the first 21 days. All that really is, no meat, no sweet, no starches, basically fruits and vegetables, okay, fruits, vegetables, nuts, okay, and water, and if you do a juice, it has to be 100% juice, okay, we're doing a Daniel fast, the first 21 days, good morning, Michelle, blessings to you. If you could describe 2018 in one word, what would it be? Good. First 21 days of the year. First 21 days of the year. First 21 days of the year. We'll be doing a Daniel fast. Okay. Daniel fast is basically... Fruits, vegetables, eventful, good. Fruits, vegetables, okay. Nuts, no meat, okay. No meat, no sweets, no starches. Water, okay. And if you drink juice, it's 100% juice. 
Don't get no juice with sugar. Get 100% juice. But if I was you, I would just do the water. I would just do the water. Those of you on any type of medication, okay, then give up one thing for those 21 days. Give up one thing that you love for those 21 days. And you can still stay away from sweets, okay, even if you're on Medicaid. Stay away. 21 days. Okay, you got that? Daniel fast. 21 days. 21 days. Daniel fast. Fruits, vegetables, nuts. Okay, fruits, vegetables, nuts. Water. Okay. Also, write these three words down. Pray, fast, give. Pray, fast, give. Write those words down. Pray, fast, give. Pray, fast, give. The Bible says when you pray, when you fast, when you give, we will be doing those three things for the new year. Those three things for those 21 days. We will be praying, fasting, and giving. Praying, fasting, and giving. I told you about the fasting part. I told you about the praying part. The praying part, I will be sending you out. Those of you who want to participate in the fast, I will be sending you out something every day. I will be sending you something out every day to focus on. Okay? Somebody put my email up there. Somebody put my email up there. Pastor Bryant. 10 at AOL.com. If you want to participate in the 21 day consecration, if you want, thank you, Lois, for putting that. If you want to participate in the 21 day consecration, send me an email and I will send you everything. I will send you the information about the Daniel Fest. Okay. Thank you, Kadir. I will send you the information about the Daniel Fest. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you, Michelle. I will send you the information about the Daniel Fest. I will send you the information about the prayer. And I will send you the information about giving. I will send you the information about we want to focus on the word. Okay? No dairy, yeah, no dairy, nope, no dairy. Good, no dairy. Nope. You're, you're going to see, you're going to see, you are going to be healthier by doing this. You are going to be healthier by doing this. And I would challenge you, okay, to... Use it as a lifestyle change. Don't just do it for 21 days and then go back to bad habits. Okay? You need to start focusing on your health. Health is your true wealth. Health is your true wealth. As you get older, you want to be healthier. There you go. You want to be healthier. So you can do things to make that happen, okay? You don't want to do things that work against you. You want to do things that work for you, okay? So if you want to participate in the 21 days of consecration, okay? 21 days of consecration. If you want to participate in that, okay? Send me an email and I will send you everything out today. I will send it to you today so you will have it for tomorrow, okay? Also, me and my wife will be celebrating 19 years. She said, Jesus. She said, oh, Lord. Me and my wife will be celebrating 19 years of marriage tonight. As we always do, we will be in service. We got married. Yeah, we got married at midnight, 2000, year 2000, okay? 
And I want to thank God for giving my wife the grace to put up with me for 19 years. She said, I know that's right. I hear over there. She's in the spirit. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Thank you. All right. Hallelujah. Dina's laughing. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Does anybody have any testimonies before we go? This is the last day of 2018. Thank you for joining us. Some of you have been with us. Some of you have been with us every day of the year, Monday through Friday. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Any testimonies? Let me know also how has these broadcasts help you? How has these broadcasts helped you throughout the year? Oh, another thing with the consecration. Congratulations, happy anniversary. Thank you. Love you too. How have these broadcasts helped you? And another thing for the consecration, no social media. Write that down. No social media. We'll come on once. We'll come on like we usually do. We'll come on like we usually do on Periscope every morning. But other than that, no social media. Tonight. No social media. No Facebook. No Instagram. No YouTube. No social media. We'll come on. We'll come on on Periscope to hear the word. I want you to focus on the word for 21 days. Okay. Get the word. Play the word over and over and over and over. Get in that Bible. Get in your prayer closet. Okay. 21 days. You can do it. You can do it. Don't worry about who's liking your, uh, your, your posts and all that. Because that ain't bringing you no money. That ain't bringing you no money. Very informative broadcast. Thank you. Broadcast. This is bona fide teaching and I need it. Thank you so much, Michelle. We love you and your husband. Thank you and your family for your love and support always and encouragement. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? I don't want to tell the testimony, but a lot of great things have happened because the testimonies came to me. And I'm not going to tell it. I'll let them tell it. But there has been some awesome testimonies already. What God is doing. Okay. All right. It's been an awesome year. It's been an awesome year coming on. The last day of the year. The last day of the year. The last day of 2018. Okay. Oh, we will be uh, broadcasting uh, the New Year service. Watch night. Were you going to be on Facebook, baby? Uh, yes. I'm waiting on the call tonight. Testimony. Uh, okay, good. Excellent. Hold on. My husband... Got me a car. No more walking. Hey, awesome. Good. God bless you. Kadia. Awesome. Awesome. To God be the glory. God be the glory. Awesome. All right. Anyone else? Or we will be broadcasting in New Year's. If you have no place to go, we will be... Tina. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, good. Excellent. Excellent. New home. Tina got a new home. Yes, All Lord. Right. Can right. we celebrate with Kadia for her new car and Tina her new place? Hallelujah. To God be the glory. We rejoice with both of you. And we speak... Prosperity increase 
supernatural provision over each one of you. Awesome. Excellent. 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 To God be the glory. All right. We will be broadcasting tonight on Facebook Live on my wife's page. I believe the service starts around 10 o'clock. I believe the service starts around 10 o'clock. If you are up tonight about 10 o'clock and you have nowhere to go, join us because we're going to have an awesome time tonight. We're going to have an awesome time tonight. We're going to have an awesome time tonight. All right, go back over the scope. A lot of information, a lot of things that we shared. You'll be blessed by this scope. Once again, me and my wife, thank you so much. God is very faithful and we are so grateful on their behalf. Awesome. Yes. Yes. We thank you, you and my wife. We thank you all for your prayers, your love, your support. Thank you for helping us help other people. Uh, so many great things. Uh, just a couple of highlights this year. Uh, my wife in her ministry was able to give away a car. Uh, we were able to help people who were going through we were uh the prison ministry was tremendous. We had so many uh testimonies of people being released from prison. My wife wrote her first book. You can go on the website set up to win in life also i forgot I forgot to announce it yesterday, but my uh book will be released. You can pre order it there's a message in the miracle okay. And I'm looking to write a whole lot more books in the coming year. Okay. All right. Well, we love each one of you. Thank you. Before you leave, put on their uncommon seed. I want you to leave out of here with that uncommon seed. Okay. An uncommon seed produces an uncommon harvest. Write that down. An uncommon seed produces an uncommon harvest. Write that down. An uncommon seed produces an uncommon harvest. Write that down. An uncommon seed produces an uncommon harvest. I want you to expect an uncommon harvest. Okay. The Lord said 2019 will be a year. I will position you supernaturally and suddenly. I will position you supernaturally and suddenly. I will position you supernaturally and suddenly. This will be a year, people of God, that God will position you supernaturally and suddenly. Okay? Good. Excellent. We want you to join us. We want you to join us uh, tonight for watch night service. We say to each one of you, a blessed and prosperous new year. 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 Okay. All right. We love each one of you. Orangeburg. A blessed and prosperous new year to you all. If you can join us tonight for watch night, go to Facebook. Go to Facebook at 10 o'clock. Oh, excellent. Go to Facebook at 10 o'clock. If not, uh, we'll see you. Uh, tomorrow, which is the first, we will not do any Periscope. We will be enjoying our anniversary. So, uh, to, on tomorrow, we won't have a Periscope. We'll let you celebrate New Year's with your family, but we will also be celebrating our anniversary, okay? And then uh, the second will uh, resume, okay? But if you want to participate in the 21-day consecration, send me an email and I'll send you out all the information. All right, we love you all. Have a productive day today. Have a fruitful day. Remember, do something today to increase your value, number one. Number two, keep seed in the ground. Number three, 
My God, keep a joyful attitude. Don't let anything steal your joy. Number four, use your words to frame your world. As you go into the new year, begin to decree and declare things. 2019 will be my best year ever. 2019 will be the year I get my home. 2019 will be the year I experience financial freedom. How, come on, begin to speak it. Nothing moves until something is said. Get things in motion. Start things in motion for your new year. All right. We love you all. Have an awesome day. God bless you. We made it. Another year, 2018, we made it another year. Repeat those, okay? 2019 will be a year in which we will experience financial freedom, okay? 2019 will be a year in which we will have our homes, okay? Remember, number one, do something today to increase your value. Number two, keep seed in the ground. Number three, keep a joyful attitude. Don't let nothing steal your joy. When things go wrong, don't go with it. And lastly, number four, use your words to frame your world. Use your words to frame your world. Nothing moves until something is said. Start things to move by speaking. Start things to move. Money comes to me. My God. People go out of their way to bless me. People give me land. I, I will have houses I did not build. Begin to speak the word. Begin to speak the word. Begin to speak the word. I'm a master problem solver. Begin to speak the word. I walk in wisdom. Begin to speak the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. We love you all. God bless you. Have a great day. Hallelujah.